How to Annihilate the Narcissist. How to defeat and overcome them with superior strength. How to succeed in dealing with them. If you have been around the narcissist for a long period of time, it's likely that you have been abused. It's likely that you have been treated with cruelty and violence repeatedly. It's likely that you have been treated in an, un an inappropriate way. But they don't always see it that way. In their minds, they're always the victim. Anything they do to you is justified or in self-defense. It's never anything that they have to answer to. It's never anything that they have to hold themselves accountable for. They will hold grudges against you for any little thing you do wrong, whether real or imagined. While they deny anything that they do or shift the blame onto you. Or they will minimize what they did or try to justify their actions. Because they're just trying to avoid taking responsibility they're too weak to deal with the shame or regret. So they make it your problem. They put everything onto you and expect you to deal with it. While they continue abusing you. They continue disrespecting you. While refusing to acknowledge what they did wrong. It's a never ending cycle which will naturally make you desire to take revenge. You will desire to bring them to justice. All a narcissist really needs is supply. They need fuel to keep them going. They might seem interested in you in the beginning, but they just see you as an object that exists to serve their needs. When you first meet them and you don't know what they're really about, you will be giving them supply. You will be feeding their ego, regulating their emotions, boosting their self-worth, self-esteem and self-importance. And it just makes them feel like they're worth something. It makes them feel like their false self exists. But we don't realise this at the time. We think we're dealing with someone who is genuinely interested in getting to know us. When really, they're just coming around us to get supply. To get the love and acceptance that they never got from their parents or caregivers. Because that is all they really desire and expect from you. It has nothing to do with you as a person. They just see you as an object. They have no interest in you as a person. They're only interested in the supply you give to them. What you can provide to them or how you can make them feel about themselves. The more powerful and attractive you are, the better you can make them feel. But even then, you're still just a tool that exists to serve them. You're just something that gives them supply. Because that's all they really care about. They just trick you into reflecting something back to them. 
which then makes them feel better about themselves. They always need you around because as soon as you go that feeling leaves. They can't generate those emotions from within. When the narcissist has learned you, they get bored. Or maybe you made a fault or mistake that they didn't approve of. And that is when they begin to devalue you. Now you can't do anything right. Because your supply has lost its potency. It no longer has the same influence and effect. But rather than looking at themselves and questioning if it was the result of something they did, they will blame you and then seek out another source of supply. While they are also still getting supply from you by hurting you. It makes them feel powerful and in control. But they also need someone to admire them. They need someone to make them feel desirable and attractive. And that is why they seek out another source of supply. When they've secured this new source, that is when they will discard you. That is when they will advance this new source to the primary position. The narcissist has to discard you. They have to do it on their terms and when they are ready to do it. It has to play out in the way that they desire and expect. So that they can look at you like you're the problem. As though you were not good enough for them. Then they can feel superior to you. They can feel like they're not the problem. They won't have any regrets. And then they can move on with a new source. Believing that they've made the right decision. To annihilate the narcissist, you have to beat them at their own game. You have to beat them to the punch. By discarding them before they get the chance to discard you. By discarding them before they get the chance to move their secondary source to the primary position. This will annihilate the narcissist. And they will never forget it. They will never let it go. They will hold on to it for the rest of their lives. Because you were the one to discard them. So now they will always see you as being superior to them. Which is why they may always try to compete with you. Because when you reject them. It destroys their false self. It triggers them to reflect on how they really feel about themselves. They created the false self to defend themselves. Against how they really feel about themselves. The false self is meant to be everything they know they're not. Everything they wish they were. When you discard the narcissist, before they get the chance to discard you, it annihilates the narcissist. Any time that they are reminded of it, it will trigger them to reflect on how worthless and insignificant they really feel.
it will deflate their exaggerated sense of value and importance. When you discard the narcissist before they discard you, you have ruined their plans to leave you in their pit of misery and pain. You have beaten them at their own game. And they will never forget about it. They will never let it go. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonated with you. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries, you can email me at coachingatnarcsurvivor.co.uk Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.